How's it going guys? Welcome to the video and welcome to another Fit Food Friday. Today we're going to be going over another great and easy keto meal and this is going to be a bacon cheddar cheeseburger without a bun. So in place of a bun we're actually going to use romaine lettuce. Now without further ado, let's start getting into the ingredients. I'm going to list them all along the screen here as I go through them, so follow along. First, we're going to need hamburger. Now for me, I'm using 80-20 because I want a little bit more fat. If you want to stay a little bit lower on the fat, you can increase to like a 93-7. Um, but again, because this is specifically for a keto diet, you want to have that higher fat versus the protein. Because ideally, you want to keep your protein and fat around 50-50. Next, we're going to need bacon. So for this recipe, we're going to be using four slices of bacon per burger. After the bacon, we need our cheese. Now for me, I just get a nice big old brick of cheese, that way I can slice it up however I want. Or if you want, you can go the traditional route and get just some regular pre-sliced cheese. Now, after that, the other thing we're gonna need is lettuce. So we're gonna take a couple leaves of this and we're just gonna sandwich the bun and the bacon and the cheese and everything between there so that we can actually pick it up and just bite into it. Mm. Now before we start cooking, I'm gonna break down the macros for this meal. For a single serving, you've only got three grams of carbs, 38 grams of fat, and 39 grams of protein. So again, keeping that protein to fat ratio about 50-50 because this is a keto specific diet. We've also got very, very low carbs, so as low as we could possibly get them. All right, now that you guys have that, we're gonna get straight into cooking. All right guys, now that we got our ingredients laid out and we've gone through the macros, we're going to start cooking. First, we need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we're going to weigh out and measure our hamburger. For me, I need 14 meals worth, which is equal to about 56 ounces of hamburger. Once we've got our hamburger measured out, we can season it with whatever seasonings you prefer. Personally, I'm just going to use a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it. I think they taste great just the way they are, especially once you add in that cheese and a little bit of bacon. Ooh, man. These are gonna be great. Once your seasonings are in the batch, then we're gonna mix it together, make sure it's thoroughly mixed, and we're gonna weigh them out and make individual patties that are four ounces each. After that, we need to prep our bacon. And the way we're gonna prep this is we're gonna prep it in the oven along with the hamburgers. So we need two large baking trays. We're gonna cover those baking trays with tin foil, and then we're gonna spray that tin foil down with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. Once that's ready, we can lay our bacon strips down, making sure not to overlap them too much. If they overlap too much, they won't cook evenly so you're gonna have some that are really crunchy and then like the centers are gonna be pretty chewy and undercooked after you've got the bacon prepped and after you've got the hamburgers ready to go we're gonna slice up our cheese if you're using pre-sliced cheese this is a lot easier all you need to do is set aside as many slices as you need for as many servings as this is your making for me I need to slice up about 14 slices of cheese making them as close to one ounce for one serving as possible once that's finished and once the oven is finished preheating we're gonna put the hamburgers in for about 20 to 25 minutes and we're gonna put the bacon in for about 30 minutes now my key cooking crunchy bacon in the oven is to pull it out at about 20 minutes drain off all the excess bacon grease and then put it back in for another 5 to 10 minutes once it comes out be sure to dab it gently after it cools to get rid of that excess bacon grease now once the hamburgers are ready to come out of the oven we're gonna very carefully pull them out remember it's gonna be hot so be careful and then we're gonna go through and take all of our cheese and lay it down while all the hamburgers are still hot. This way they melt just a little bit before they go into their meal prep containers. Now once our bacon's finished, we'll pull it out of the oven, allow it a little bit of time to cool, and then we're going to dab it gently with a paper towel to remove some of that excess bacon grease. Once that's finished, we can separate it out amongst our meals nice and even. And that's all there is to it. Throw them in the fridge for up to seven days, and when you're ready to eat, pop them in the microwave for 60 seconds, pull them out and take a single leaf of lettuce, split it in half, sandwich your burger between there, and just chow down. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Definitely helps out, helps the channel keep growing. If you like this video and if you gave the recipe a try, leave a comment down below in the description. Let me know what you think. If you have any other recipes you'd like me to try, leave them down below as well. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe because we have great videos coming out every single day of the week. Monday through Friday, we've got a new workout every single day. And then on Fridays, it's Fit Food Fridays. So we come out with a brand new recipe every single Friday that'll help you reach your macronutrient and your fitness goals. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.